he is. Hey. hey. It's your birthday. Kepler is seven years old today. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah, he's a good boy. You can also see that we um we have leftover tomato basil soup. Mm -hmm. And Mal made us some uh, grilled cheese sandwiches. Mm -hmm. But uh, the real the real celebration today is Kepler. Not Sagan. Sagan's birthday is in two weeks. Two weeks. Sagan will get his day in two weeks. But for now, it's little buddy who thinks that he can have tomato basil. And no, maybe not, buddy. Sorry. You getting it? Huh? <laughs> I'm glad he's having fun. Fortunately, the cats have not uh, gotten hurt on the stairs. They have, however, had immense amounts of fun on the stairs. <laughs> they're, they're quite jolly. I don't know if I ever actually introduced uh, today or not, maybe? I don't know. To, every day that we've lived here so far has been weird, and I think I've expressed that to you guys, so I think you get it. But today is, slash was, slash is, uh, Friday. What you gonna do? He says, I'm gonna get this thing, and I'm gonna knock it down those stairs, or calmly bring it down. Nope, gonna drop it here. And then I'll decide how to live my life. Gotta get it. <laughs> They've been really enjoying the stairs. So um, today, I, I gotta I gotta say that today um, I was super happy because it was more or less the first what I'm gonna call like real day of work. I don't know real how. Day. Well, I don't know how you felt about it, but like for me, I've needed to do things. And sometimes there's been like a little bit of stuff I did, but then I worked on like the house and, and all the other crap that we had to take care of. And today was the first day since we've lived here that I worked basically all day and it felt great. And it was also a good indicator of like how things are gonna go while we live here too, a little bit. Um, but today we, we played uh, Smash Brothers World of Light and we finished it. We finished World of Light and uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about it a little bit because it was, it, I mean, it's it's a big important thing in the Smash Brothers series because it is the adventure mode, the first adventure mode since uh, Brawl because Ford didn't have an adventure mode. So it's the first adventure mode in like 10 years. And also it's taken Mal and I like- Months. Months? Many months. I mean, you started playing it the night it came out. What? Yeah. Was it December or oh, November? Remember. I don't remember, but yeah, it's been like forever. And we finally beat it tonight. Finally. Now admittedly, whenever they first showed off World of Light, I was a little nervous because what I really wanted was Subspace Emissary. Um, I really liked Subspace and uh, I could tell that World of Light was not Subspace Emissary. And uh, there was a lot of concern for me over that, but Having had a chance to play through all of World of Light, I'm actually kind of glad that it's not Subspace Emissary. Kind of, kind of. Conceptually, I actually really like Subspace Emissary, um, but having a chance to play World of Light reveals that Subspace Emissary is really not that great. The enemies that you fight in Subspace are very rarely from the series you know. They're creatures that were made for Subspace, and I think that that's far less interesting than letting you fight Goombas or whatever, yeah. you know? Smash Brothers doesn't have to be the only crossover Nintendo game. Yeah. I think it'd be really cool if there was some sort of adventure game where, you know, it didn't have to play like Smash Brothers, but it, it featured a variety of characters because Mario Kart is, is dabbling in that a little bit, mm -hmm. like with the Animal Crossing characters and Splatoon it and Link. Link. Mm -hmm. So there's a little bit of that there, but I'd really like to see it taken further. I'd love to see an adventure game that is a huge crossover game like Smash Brothers. All the battles are very well Makes me thought upset, out. But and... Yeah, there's so much time and effort and like it is genuinely more interesting to play a battle where they're mimicking characters, even, even though they're only from the, you know, the roster of baby characters, 
like they're mimicking an actual character from a series mm -hmm. as opposed to generic gray guy or weird eye blob. It, it really is better. You know, it, and there's some really good surprises that happen, and yeah, and those were really cool to discover. Throughout the throughout the world of Light Map, you enter into sub levels, and the, I think the first sub level we found was the Street Fighter sub level. Yeah. So we we fought our way to this airport, and we we go into the airport, and all of a sudden it's playing the Street Fighter music, and we're on a world map, and we're flying from place to place fighting Street Fighter characters in the locations on the map where they're exactly, from. and it was so cool. And then later, my probably my favorite sub-level area was we actually go back into the first world of Donkey Kong Country 1 and like go through as if we were playing Donkey Kong Country 1. And I, it was just, it, it blew me away. You know, it really did. It was super, super cool. Now, subspace could have been super awesome if it would have stuck to things like that. Yeah. You know, can you imagine getting to play like an updated version of World 1-1 One One of Donkey Kong Country, but like you can play as whoever. Mm -hmm. Like you can ride Wario's motorcycle through it. And then when you're done with that, you move on to a famous level from a Mario game or Metroid or whatever. Like that's really cool. And at times, Subspace did that a little bit, but it didn't go far enough. And then very soon it got into just generic world thing that didn't have anything to do with, you know, some of the other stuff. So like... When it worked, it worked well, and I think conceptually it's a good concept. Yeah. But ultimately, World of Lights is better. And uh, yeah, there's a few surprises. You know, there's definitely some spirits that show up and you're like, holy crap, this is super obscure. I can't believe this is in here. And there are surprises like the Donkey Kong thing and Street Fighter. Um, there's a few actual like real bosses in the game. And one of the bosses near the end is from the Kirby series. Don't want to reveal anything. But holy crap, I couldn't believe he was in the game, and I couldn't believe this fight was in the game, and it was just like... How well done, like, the exactly. level was in the background. It yeah. was essentially An the actual... Version. Yeah, it was the actual fight, and it was, you know, 1080p, 60, beautiful, you know, 3D. I don't know, it just, it just made me super happy. Um, and also throughout the game, throughout all of World of Light, it just made me want like updated remastered versions of all these childhood games that I love so much. But uh, yeah, it was it was fantastic. World of Light was really great. Uh, we really enjoyed it. And uh, it was really long. Yeah, and it was. Uh, I'm I'm happy to move on. It's not that I'm glad it's over, because I enjoyed it, but I am glad to have that that slot open now to move on to other projects because there's other stuff I want to do. And I also want to cover co-op classic, which is kind of a completely different feel than Adventure Mode. Um, so we're gonna have to do that soon too. There's a lot of stuff that we wanna do. Yeah, too much. All the time, all the time. There's always too many projects on our plate. Anyway, um, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we didn't get a whole lot done around the house today because we spent so much time recording, but I'm so glad we did because we have needed to finish World of Light. And it, was, it took a lot longer than I thought because it's, Every time you think it's done, it's like, nope, there's another map, and I'm like, how? How many? But we we did it, and uh, I feel happy about it. So tomorrow, um, maybe we'll get a chance to get a little stuff around the house done. Yeah. It, I know you want to. Oh, yes. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a whole lot. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?